Well, the spread of a viral outbreak threatening global economic growth as the Dow plummets a thousand points. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill is in studio with how coronavirus is disrupting more than your health. It was one of the worst days for the stock market in two years. China getting hit the hardest because the government has restricted travel and imposed strict quarantine measures to keep people home. But the ripple effects are being felt around the world and right here in Arkansas. It's unexpected. No one really saw it coming. And it's something that has been traveling really, really rapidly. All eyes on coronavirus as the global economy takes a hit. Surprised is that it took so long for the stock market to absorb the sort of unfolding crisis. The U.S. Dow Jones fell more than 1,000 points on Monday. Raja Kali, professor of economics and chairman at the Sam Walton College of Business, says global supply chains have been completely disrupted by the viral outbreak, especially in China, a hub of global manufacturing. You know, global car manufacturing, automobile manufacturing is virtually at a standstill. And on the demand side, a similar story. For lots of everyday products that we consume, you know, um, TV sets, refrigerators, washing machines, um, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be stockouts. Walmart tells us with the exception of select items like masks and some cleaning supplies, it had no immediate short-term impact since its suppliers stockpiled inventory in anticipation of the New Year holiday. And quote, Longer-term disruptions to imports of finished products in regional supply chains will depend on the duration and intensity of the outbreak. Companies like Tesla, Apple, Starbucks, um, Tyson, for example, you know, which was looking forward to exporting lots of uh, meat products, particularly pork and so on, to China is unfortunately being affected. While Kali says you may end up paying more out of your pockets if companies can't absorb the costs, you could save at the pump. Gasoline prices are down fairly significantly. And this is because of the global fall off in uh, demand that comes from China. Kali says there's also been a sharp decline in the global economic growth forecast. While the U.S. economy was projected to grow a little more than 2% this year, coronavirus could shave that down. In studio, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.